UNC left tackle Awesome Richards did a really good job protecting Drake May this season. On 1,049 snaps at left tackle, Richards only allowed three sacks on the year. A three-year starter who made 38 career starts during that time. Protected Sam Howe his first two seasons. Led the way for that outstanding running back room UNC's had over the past few years. Michael Carter now with the Jets. Javante Williams with the Broncos. Ty Chandler with the Vikings. Richards has been an integral part leading the way for that offense. When I look at Richards' game on film, I see someone with a strong lower body. Really does a good job anchoring in pass pro. Is patient in his kick. Doesn't rush out to defensive linemen. Plays with a low pad level. Really seals Blaine's in the run game. And he's a physical finisher in the run game. And I think that's a big part of the reason people want to move him inside the guard. At six foot four, three oh seven, that's prototypical guard frame. And then, like I mentioned, his ability to clear lanes in the run game did a great job for the three UNC running backs currently in the NFL. They had a great backfield this year as well. And, and I think that's part of the reason for that, you know, conversation. But when I look at Richards, I do see someone who can play his tackle. I, I really, you know, my comp, I'm not a big player comp guy, but my comp for Richards is Charles Leno Jr. at six foot three, three oh two. That's Leno's frame. Richards six four three oh seven. They also just have kind of a similar career trajectory. People were talking about Leno maybe moving inside the guard early in his career. Played for about a decade now with the Bears and the Commanders at left tackle. I think Richards is probably a guy who, like Leno, maybe takes a year or two to get in the starting lineup, develops, learns from some veteran offensive linemen. But once he's on the field, I see someone who's a physical blocker, likes to finish his blocks, is tough and nasty, and has good fundamentals in pass pro. I think he's an NFL offensive lineman. Illinois' right tackle, Alex Palczewski, six foot six, 315 pounds. This is someone who's been on my board since last season. He kind of dabbled with the draft process last year, put his feet in the water, was down at the Hula Bowl, an event I attended last season, really impressed me during the one-on-ones, was granted an extra year of eligibility down at Illinois, and did not disappoint. Finished the year without allowing a sack, had an 81.4 PFF grade, 10th in the NCAA, finished his career with 713 consecutive pass block snaps without allowing a snap per PFF, Really did a good job protecting Tommy DeVito, um, another draft prospect, Illinois' quarterback, and also their running back, Chase Brown, someone who's one of the best running backs in college football, one of the top draft prospects at the running back position. Palczewski himself tied the FBS record with 65 career starts. That's a Big Ten record, obviously a program record at Illinois. He was a model of consistency for them, really a consistent pass blocker with a prototypical size and, and strength. For that tackle position at six foot six, 315 pounds, and also does a really good job in the run game. Has great initial contact, generates a lot of movement in the run game, cleared so many lanes, cleared so much up for Chase Brown and the successful season that he had. I'm intrigued by Alex Palczewski to say the least. Also has some versatility similar to Richards. Made 16 career starts at right guard, 11 as a true freshman back in 2017, and then five last year in 2021. I, I think Alex Palczewski is definitely someone who Deserves a little bit more recognition. Um, 65 career starts, 713 consecutive pass block snaps without allowing a sack. Illinois offense, Tommy DeVito and Chase Brown, their success. I think Palczewski was a big part of that. McClendon Curtis, another offensive line draft prospect out of Tennessee Chattanooga. A year after Cole Strange was a first round pick to the New England Patriots, McClendon Curtis comes in at six foot five, 331. Just had a really nice week down at the senior bowl, played up against that FBS competition and had a strong week against the likes of Keanu Benton and Carl Brooks inside. 30 career starts at right guard for McClendon. That's where he played most of his college career in Chattanooga. This season, seven starts at left tackle, four at right guard. Had some games where he was playing both spots, switching mid-game. But it was nice to see him display that versatility, that ability to go out and play tackle, something that certainly, you know, is an upside for him and something that he did down at the senior bowl playing both spots. I think this is a guy with the size, versatility, and athleticism to have a nice, successful NFL career. Really highlighted by that athleticism. Love that clip against Samford where he's out on that screenplay. Really has that second gear. I just think this is a guy who I see having success at the next level. He's got the size, 6'5", 331, can play both spots, has that versatility. Certainly, there will be some transitions anytime an FCS offensive lineman is coming up to the next level. There's going to be transitions. But McClendon has all the intangibles NFL teams are looking for in offensive line prospects. Henry Bainavalu from Washington, their offensive guard, comes in at six foot seven and 307 pounds. Off the bat, that's going to catch your eye with his size, similar to McClendon Curtis from Tennessee Chattanooga. Those guys are similar frames. That's six foot seven, six foot six range. Bainavalu, though, from Washington, AP second team, all Pac 12 this year. Three-year starter at right guard. 
did a nice job clearing things out for Michael Penix. I really like the way that he pulls. That, that's one thing that caught my eye this week. He's a powerful puller. Not someone you want to be on the receiving end of a trap play or a pull play when Bane of Alu is coming around. He's heading to the NFL Combine. I'm really intrigued to see what his numbers are there. I think this is someone who could light up the bench. He could be the top bench at the NFL Combine. Big fan of Bane Valu. Think he has a lot of upside. H hard to see him not having success in the NFL. Penn State center Juice Scruggs, a six foot three, three hundred and ten pound All Big Ten third team selection on the coaches poll. Also was on the Remington Award Trophy watch list. A two year starter at Penn State. This year really broke out. Eight hundred and eighty six offensive snaps. That was a team high. Allowed fourteen total pressures. One sack allowed. Ninety eight point three pass block efficiency. I like his tight compact stance. And his punch, he does a really good job getting his hands on defensive linemen right away. Did a good job in the run game, clearing things out for freshman Nicholas Singleton, one of the best players heading into next season in college football. I'm a fan of Juice Scruggs. He put together a really strong week down at the Shrine Bowl, a 93.1 grade across 56 practice pass blocking reps per PFF. And Eric Gauco, the director of player personnel down with the Shrine Bowl. Another guy, really the theme of this video, another guy with versatility on the offensive line. Scruggs can play center or offensive guard, took some snaps at guard during the Shrine Bowl.